Why are there not more people talking about the mysteries of Egyptian mummies? Tombs and temples whisper tales of pharaohs and gods. Wrapped in linen, these preserved bodies offer a glimpse into a world lost to time. They are time travelers, their silent forms carrying echoes of a civilization that thrived millennia ago. Mummification was a sacred art, ensuring the soul's safe passage into the afterlife. Through mummification, the Egyptians sought to cheat death, to bridge the gap between the mortal realm and the eternal. I bet you didn't know the perilous journey the soul, or Ka, would embark on through the underworld after death. Mummification was a complex and costly process, reserved primarily for the elite. The journey began with the removal of the deceased's internal organs, each carefully preserved and placed in canopic jars. Finally, the mummy was laid to rest in a sarcophagus, often adorned with intricate carvings and paintings depicting scenes from the deceased's life and the journey of the soul. Why are there not more people talking about the incredible rituals of ancient Egyptian mummification? The journey of mummification began in the embalmer's workshop, a place both sacred and scientific. Using a sharp obsidian blade, the embalmers made an incision in the left side of the abdomen, carefully extracting the liver, lungs, stomach, and intestines. Once removed, the organs were thoroughly cleansed and treated with natron to prevent decay. This process, known as evisceration, marked the beginning of the transformation from a mortal being to an eternal one. While the other organs were removed and preserved separately, the heart was treated with unique reverence. The heart was weighed on the scales of Mott against the feather of truth to determine the soul's worthiness to enter the afterlife. To protect the heart, a scarab amulet was placed over it during the wrapping process. This heart scarab was inscribed with spells from the Book of the Dead, instructing the heart not to betray the deceased during the judgment. Preserving the heart was paramount to ensuring the continuity of the self in the afterlife. The deceased's liver, lungs, stomach and intestines were carefully embalmed, dried with natron, and then wrapped in linen. Each organ was placed in a canopic jar, believed to have magical properties that protected the organs and helped reunite them with the body in the afterlife. Each jar was guarded by one of the four sons of Horus, ensuring the preservation and eventual reunification of the deceased's vital essence in the afterlife. These guardians ensured the preservation and eventual reunification of the deceased's vital essence in the afterlife. With the internal organs removed and placed in their protective canopic jars, the mummification process moved to the next crucial stage, the drying of the body. The Egyptians employed natron, a naturally occurring salt mixture, to draw out moisture from the body and inhibit bacterial growth. The body was completely immersed in a bed of natron crystals within a specially prepared burial pit or trough. This immersion in natron lasted for approximately 70 days a period imbued with both practical and symbolic significance. After 70 days, the body, now thoroughly desiccated and preserved by the natron, was removed from its salty bed. The mummification process now entered its most visually iconic stage, the wrapping of the body in linen. Linen, a fabric woven from the fibers of the flax plant was highly valued in ancient Egypt for its strength, durability, and purity. As they wrapped, the embalmers recited prayers and incantations, imbuing the linen with protective spells and ensuring the deceased's safe passage into the afterlife. The linen strips used to wrap the mummy were not simply wound around the body haphazardly. The embalmers employed a specific technique, carefully layering and overlapping the linen to create a secure and protective cocoon for the deceased. Between the layers of linen, the embalmers placed amulets and charms, each with its own symbolic meaning and protective power. As the wrapping progressed, the mummy gradually took on a more human form, the linen bandages acting as a second skin, preserving the body's shape and features for eternity. At specific points during the wrapping process, priests would anoint the linen with fragrant oils and resins, filling the air with the scents of cedarwood, myrrh, and frankincense. The wrapping process was not merely a practical necessity, 
but a sacred ritual, each step imbued with meaning and purpose. With the body carefully wrapped in its linen shroud, the transformation from mortal to eternal neared completion. The Egyptians believed that the deceased needed to be recognizable in the afterlife, their features preserved for all eternity. To achieve this, they employed a remarkable artistic skill, the creation of funerary masks. These masks, often placed directly over the face of the mummy or incorporated into the outermost layers of linen wrappings, served as more than just artistic representations. The most famous example of an Egyptian funerary mask is undoubtedly the mask of Tutankhamun, discovered in 1922 by Howard Carter. Even more modest masks reflect the Egyptians' deep-seated belief in the importance of preserving the individual's likeness for their journey into the afterlife. The journey through the underworld was fraught with peril, and the deceased needed all the help they could get to navigate its treacherous paths. To protect and guide the soul in the afterlife, the Egyptians surrounded their mummies with a vast array of amulets and charms. These small, often intricately crafted objects were believed to possess magical powers capable of warding off evil spirits, providing guidance, and ensuring the deceased's safe passage to the afterlife. The scarab beetle represented rebirth and regeneration, while the eye of Horus symbolized protection and healing. Amulets were not merely decorative objects but essential components of the mummification process, each one carefully chosen and placed to provide maximum protection and guidance for the deceased's journey into the unknown. The final stage of the mummification process involved placing the deceased's body within a sarcophagus, a container designed to protect and house the mummy for eternity. Sarcophagi varied greatly in size, shape, and decoration, reflecting the social status, wealth, and beliefs of the deceased. The decorations on sarcophagi often depicted scenes from the Book of the Dead, a collection of spells and prayers intended to guide the deceased through the underworld and into the afterlife. The sarcophagus was not merely a container but a microcosm of the afterlife itself, a symbolic representation of the deceased's eternal home. The sands of Egypt hold their secrets close. For millennia, they have guarded the remnants of a civilization that valued preservation above all else. In recent decades, archaeologists have uncovered a treasure trove of new discoveries, shedding light on the intricacies of mummification and the lives of those long gone. These findings offer a glimpse into a world both familiar and profoundly different from our own. From the sands of Saqqara to the Valley of the Kings, the whispers of the past grow ever louder, beckoning us to unravel the mysteries of a civilization that continues to captivate the world. One of the most remarkable aspects of recent archaeological discoveries in Egypt is the sheer scale and grandeur of some of the tombs on Earth. The tomb of Queen Nefertari, wife of Ramses II, is a prime example. Discovered in 1904 in the Valley of the Queens, this tomb is a riot of color, its walls covered in exquisite paintings depicting scenes from the Book of the Dead and the Queen's journey through the afterlife. These echoes of splendor remind us that mummification was not just a practical matter of preserving the body. It was an art form, an expression of faith, and a testament to the enduring human desire for immortality. The ancient necropolis of Saqqara, located south of Cairo, has been a hotbed of archaeological activity in recent years, yielding a wealth of new insights into ancient Egyptian burial practices. In 2018, a team of archaeologists unearthed a remarkable discovery, a vast underground burial complex containing over 40 mummies. This complex, dating back to the late period of ancient Egypt, included a network of chambers and corridors adorned with colorful paintings and hieroglyphic inscriptions. Saqqara, with its seemingly endless layers of history, continues to reveal its secrets, piece by piece, adding to our understanding of a civilization that continues to fascinate and inspire. For centuries the study of Egyptian mummies was a delicate and often destructive endeavor. Unwrapping the linen bandages while yielding valuable insights risked damaging the fragile remains within. 
Today, however, a new breed of explorers, armed not with trowels and brushes but with cutting-edge technology, is revolutionizing our understanding of these ancient remains. These mummy whisperers, as they've been dubbed, use non-invasive imaging techniques to peer beneath the linen, digitally unwrapping the mummies and revealing their secrets without ever touching a single bandage. Computed tomography or CT scans, for instance, use X-rays to create detailed cross-sectional images of the body, allowing researchers to examine bones, teeth, and even internal organs in stunning detail. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI on the other hand, uses powerful magnets and radio waves to create images of soft tissues, providing insights into muscle structure, blood vessels, and even the brain. These technologies have become indispensable tools for Egyptologists, allowing them to study mummies in unprecedented detail without risking further damage. The information gleaned from these scans is revolutionizing our understanding of ancient Egyptian health, disease, and even mummification practices themselves. The advent of 3D modeling software has added another layer of sophistication to the study of Egyptian mummies. Using data from CT scans, researchers can now create highly accurate digital reconstructions of mummies, bringing them to life in virtual reality. These digital avatars allow researchers to manipulate the mummy in ways never before possible. They can digitally remove layers of linen bandages, revealing the body beneath. They can examine bones and teeth from all angles, identifying signs of disease or injury. They can even dissect the digital mummy, virtually exploring internal organs and structures without ever touching the actual remains. This ability to interact with mummies in a virtual environment has opened up exciting new avenues for research and education. Museums and universities can now create virtual exhibits that allow visitors to explore the intricacies of mummification and the lives of ancient Egyptians in a truly immersive way. Digital resurrection, as it's sometimes called, is not just about recreating the past, it's about making it accessible and engaging for a new generation. Section 3. Reading the Language of Genes The most profound revolution in mummy studies comes from genetics. Ancient DNA analysis, once science fiction, is now reality, allowing researchers to extract and analyze genetic material from mummies. This breakthrough provides insights into the ancestry, health, and family relationships of ancient Egyptians. In 2010, researchers sequenced the genome of Tutankhamun, revealing he was the product of incest. The analysis also suggested he suffered from ailments like a club foot and malaria. DNA analysis is helping to rewrite history, tracing family trees and migration patterns. The language of genes is unlocking secrets of the past, connecting us to our ancient ancestors. Section 1. Treasures of Time The Egyptian mummies, once shrouded in mystery and speculation, are steadily revealing their secrets. What began as a quest for eternal life has become a journey of discovery for those who seek to understand the past. The intricate process of mummification with its meticulous rituals and profound symbolism speaks to a civilization that grappled with life and death in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. These preserved bodies, often referred to as time travelers, offer a unique window into a world long gone. They allow us to study ancient diseases, unravel family histories, and gain insights into the daily lives of people who lived millennia ago. The Egyptians' quest for immortality has inadvertently provided us with a treasure trove of information about their world and their place within it. As we continue to explore ancient tombs and employ cutting-edge technology to study these ancient remains, we are constantly reminded of the ingenuity, artistry, and enduring humanity of the ancient Egyptians. Their legacy lives on, not just in the silent forms of their mummies, but in the profound impact their civilization continues to have on our own. A Legacy in Linen The study of Egyptian mummies is a journey of rediscovery, connecting with a civilization that has captivated us for centuries. Their belief in the afterlife and elaborate burial rituals resonate with us today, prompting reflection on our own mortality. Mummies, wrapped in linen shrouds, serve as links to a distant past, reminding us of our common humanity. Their hopes and dreams echo through time, showing the enduring power of the human spirit. Mummies have influenced art, literature, and popular culture, inspiring both awe and fear.
guardians of memory, marvel at the intricate details of a funerary mask or decipher the hieroglyphs on a sarcophagus, engaging in a dialogue with the past, transcending time and language. The Egyptians' meticulous efforts to preserve their dead were not in vain. They achieved immortality through the enduring power of memory. Each mummy is a testament to the human desire to be remembered. The Egyptian mummies, in their silent majesty, stand as guardians of memory. Dive deeper into the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Subscribe to our channel and explore more fascinating content. Your journey through history awaits.